you. Come inside with me and let's go have ourselves a discussion on uh, my riding gear. Come inside. Hey folks, uh, welcome to the first uh, episode of the lockdown series about riding gear. Um, we're not talking about riding gear in general, I'm just going to cover a few of the items I wear, like I said to you on the previous video, and why I choose to um, wear these items. Uh, so welcome, I hope you have a, a cup of coffee with you, or whatever you your fancy as a late night drink. But um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Uh, tonight we're talking about feet up to the head. In other words, we're going to talk about the boots I wear when I ride and which type of boot I wear uh, in certain conditions. So for as the first boot that I'll be discussing tonight, it will be the Thor LS boot. It's an ankle high boot. I know the Thor 5050s are the boots that I used to wear long ago. You, you might be aware of them. They've been discontinued because I think the factory uh, uh, that the manufacturer of the boot closed down and uh, Thor had to hunt down a new manufacturer for the boots. And then they brought out these Thor LS boots. It's an ankle high boot. Now this specifically I wear when I know I'm going to be riding off-road. I know uh, some of the guys who ride serious off-road and adventure bikes, they prefer a full-on boot that covers the, the, the shin and, and the lower leg below the knee. Uh, I'm not into a full-on heavy off-road riding. I like casual uh, adventure riding and off-road. So, and also when I'm um, out exploring, I prefer using an ankle-high boot. It's, to me, it's more comfortable. And these really are a pair of boots that, although it, it's heavy, uh, it's a pair of boots that you could wear the whole day. I mean, I've been in these boots for a whole day while training or whatever. You can wear these boots the whole day. That's how comfortable they are. Um, the sole is where the difference comes in. It's very reinforced with hard rubber all around the boot. So really it protects the ankle so that if you do come off the bike or whatever, that your foot is protected inside this boot. Uh, the sole is, uh, makes a big difference. You can't, uh, if you find yourself riding with a soft sole boot and you stand on your foot pegs for a, for a, for a couple of hours riding, uh, your feet will really start getting uh, some hammering. Uh, you'll start getting pins and needles in your feet. And that's why this Thor LS boot is such a champion in my book. Uh, the sole is very hard. It, it, it barely flexes. And uh, the support on the inside here, yeah, where you're, the, the bridge of your foot is, um, it, it's really so hard that if you stand, your foot doesn't bend over your foot peg. Um, and also, if you do step a little bit backwards on your foot peg, you don't get that flex in the, in the, in the ankle that much when you, when you do move your foot backwards and forwards on the, on the, on the foot peg. So in this, uh, this boot, I mean, I've been all over the place with this, even my previous Thor 5050s. But this Thor LS uh, boot, is really a, a very comfortable, very comfortable boot. Um, it's water resistant up to about this opening flap. So I don't think you can go and walk in water with this. But hey, if you get wet, and I've been wet in these boots uh, when I was riding in rain, um, obviously you just put them out in the sun, let them dry out, and it's all sorted out. But this is a, an, excellent, an excellent boot to ride, uh, to wear when you ride um, off-road. You know you're gonna be standing on your foot pegs for quite a long time. But I do recommend that if, you, if you're serious into off-road or adventure riding, that you get the full-on uh, off-road boot. Um, there are quite a few makes out there. Uh, I think Forma and quite a few other makes. Please, if you know about those uh, full-on boots, off-road boots, and you've got a few brands in, in, in mind, or you wear a, cup, a, a pair, please comment below so that the viewers can see uh, the options that's out there on those type of boots. And I know Forma, uh, they also make a very nice uh, full-on off-road boot. Uh, but for me, that would be an overkill, really. Okay, right. The next, the next boot is a boot that I would wear uh, more often than this, this Thor LS. Um, it's more of a touring boot. Uh, and again, it's a boot that is really comfortable. I can walk in them and almost live in them the whole day. They're really comfortable. I don't know about them on my feet. Uh, my feet are not tired at the end of the day uh, when I walked in them or I trained in them. And it's and it's a it's a, a boot that goes half up the half up the shin. It's not a full-on boot all the way up below your kneecap. It's half up the shin, and uh, it's the Forma Valley S. A friend of mine, Ati, uh, used to work for uh, 
uh, East Coast Motorcycles. Um, is it East Coast Motorcycles? Yes. And he sold me this pair. And I've had it ever since. And um, for my Valley S, it's, it's an excellent boot. It's got some good tread in the bottom. And uh, it's high up. It's, it's a water resistant boot. I've, I've had rain, uh, riding in rain in this pair of boots. And um, after a while, the water seeps in from the top, but not from the, from the bottom. And I also, what I also like about this, it is, it's got a zip up on the inside. And, and uh, obviously your Velcro flap that closes up. Uh, on this on this boot there so and it, it it stays closed so it's not when you zip it open the whole boot comes open it stays closed so it kind of seals the the foot or protects the foot from uh, any possible water splashing or whatever while you're riding on your bike but again this is a, an excellent boot I've had it for quite a few years um, the sole is not telling me to replace it yet but it's really a very nice a form of Valley S it's really I think it's made for the South African conditions where you can you can use it on off-road conditions if you want you can i don't know you can probably ride this with any bike cruiser bike adventure bike i wouldn't put this on really on a on a sport bike although this the, the front part of the foot is not that that broad or high that you can't get your foot into between the foot peg and the gear lever properly but um really it's nice and flexible as you start wearing it and you put some dub on it um really uh, i find this boot very comfortable and i wear it quite often when I when I ride, uh, maybe just for local trips or even when I'm busy on my training trips, uh, I, I would wear them. They are really that comfortable. All right, just another thing uh, that I'd like to mention as far as boots are concerned. When you wear your when you wear socks, I made this mistake quite a few years ago, uh, and and the socks I was wearing I started wearing rugby socks because I like the way the sock comes up above the boot line because if you wear shorter socks this top of this this part of the uh, the, the boot would start rubbing on your leg and, and yeah you, uh, after a couple of days you would take your if you take your uh, pants off uh, on the leg the hair is starting to get chowed by this 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 edge of the boot because the socks not covering your legs, so it's it was nice for me to wear a rugby sock, so it comes up higher, and it, this part of the boot doesn't wear on my on my the hairs on my on my leg. It looks like you've got a little ring around the around, around your calf. So yes, I decided to wear uh, higher socks, but mistakenly the sock on the inside was so thick that um, my foot was so tight on the inside that the nail of my big toe started coming off the bed. So careful if you, when you wear socks and, and, and it's too tight inside the boot, change the socks to a thinner sock or something like that that so breathes nicely. Uh, but careful that you don't wear too thick a sock and your boot is just the right fit and there's no room for your, for your foot or your toes to move in front of the boot. Uh, that nail will come off the bed and you're sitting with a, a problem on a big toe for quite a long time. I made that mistake and I'll never make it again. So that's just a bit of advice. Please, if you, if you have a specific brand in mind or that you are wearing when you are touring or you, you prefer to wear more than another pair, perhaps, please comment below in the video and tell us what you are wearing. Post a photograph of the boot if you like. Um, I don't mind people putting in uh, brand names at, uh, at all. Like I said, this needs to be a very informative, informative uh, uh, session or uh, episodes. And I like the way that uh, we're putting this together nice and casual. You can even see my fancy t-shirt here tonight. So thanks for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow again. We'll try and make these videos as regular as possible. In other words, almost every day. Or every day at 6 o'clock, just after 6. You, you can expect the video to be up on our YouTube channel and also on our Facebook pages. Thanks so much. And again, please stay safe, stay healthy and stay at home. Thanks so much. Cheers.